In this first class, we're going to talk about torque equilibrium. As you can see here, we've got a rubbish bin, uh, 10 kilograms worth, and it's 0.75 meters from the uh, pivot point. And what we're going to do is we're going to place a uh, fire extinguisher on the end here. The idea is we want to determine whereabouts the 5 kilogram fire extinguisher needs to be placed in order to uh, keep the seesaw balanced. At the moment, we've got support supports uh, left and right. If we take the supports away, you'll see that the uh, 10 kilogram mass here causes the seesaw to tilt. So what distance does the 5 kilogram fire extinguisher have to be placed in order to balance the seesaw? So this problem here is all about what's called torque equilibrium. If we want the two objects to balance, then the torques must balance. Now, remember, torque is like a turning force, and uh, torque, torque is equal to force times distance. Now, that distance has to be perpendicular to the force for a torque to be uh, take place. The first thing you want to do is you want to label the forces acting. Now, there are two forces acting here. We've got um, one from the 10 kilogram rubbish bin acting down here. And uh, that force will be mass times gravity. So 10 times 10 will give us 100 newtons. On the right hand side, uh, we're going to have a force of 5 times gravity. So 5 times 10 is 50 newtons. Now remember in the exam, uh, gravity might be given to you as 9.8, so keep that in mind. Uh, distance wise, the distance from the 10 kilogram rubbish bin to the pivot point in the middle. Now remember with um, torque equilibrium, all of your distances always come back to a, a pivot point. And the distance to the pivot point was 0 0.75 meters. And this distance from the pivot point to the 5 kilogram extinguisher, this is our unknown, which I'm going to call uh, D. Two. So, if the object is at equilibrium, then the torques clockwise have to equal the torques anticlockwise. So, this rubbish bin is going to want to make the, um, the seesaw want to rotate in a anticlockwise direction. The fire extinguisher is going to make the seesaw want to rotate in a clockwise direction. And if those two torques balance, then there will be no net torque and the seesaw will remain balanced as shown in the diagram. So first of all, let's look at the torques in the anti-clockwise direction. Torques anti-clockwise is equal to force times distance in the anti-clockwise direction. The force is the rubbish bin, which is uh, 100 newtons. The distance is 0 0.75 meters which means we're going to get a torque of 75 newton meters. Torques clockwise, we've got the 5 kilogram fire extinguisher acting at a distance D2. That's a force of 50 newtons. So we've got force times D2, which is 50 newtons times D2. Now we know that torques clockwise have to equal torques anticlockwise, which means that 50 D2 has to equal 75. So finally, the very last step in this in my working is to rearrange for uh, D2. D2 will be equal to 75 divided by 50. So 75 divided by 50 works out to be 1.5 meters. All right, so in theory, if we make this distance 1.5 meters, then the seesaw should balance and the, it should be at torque equilibrium. Let's give this a go. So we take the fire extinguisher and we add it at 1.5 meters, 
And with a bit of luck, we should have a situation where clockwise torques equal anti-clockwise torques. And yes, we have achieved torque equilibrium. Uh, this question here would be worth probably an achieved, maybe a merit, but most likely achieved in uh, NCA physics.